welcome back to Scotty's Lifestyle and I'm going to be making some authentic Jamaican rice and peas I've been getting requests in the comment section to make some rice and beans so tomorrow is Sunday so I'm going to be making some, some authentic Jamaican rice and peas tomorrow and it's a tradition for us Jamaican to eat rice and peas on a Sunday so what I'm basically going to do is that I'm going to put my red peas to soak from overnight so I'm going to soak it in some water along with a couple garlic cloves alright guys so this is my red peas I'm going to wash them and soak them and this is about 0.35 kg of red peas and if you like a lot of peas in your rice and peas you can use more and you use you use the amount of peas based on the amount of rice that you are going to be cooking because you don't want to have too much peas in the rice and peas so I'm going to be cooking about two pounds of rice with this amount and as I said before I was going to soak the peas along with some garlic cloves so this is four garlic cloves and what I did was to split them in the middle what you can do you can also crush them so I'm going to wash the peas Sure to wash the peas, guys. garlic in and the garlic are already washed so I'm gonna cover this and leave it out to soak overnight and tomorrow when I open it you will notice that the peas will, will, will be swollen and they will be a little bit softer than all they are alright guys so we're gonna cook the rice and peas and this is a piece that was left to soak overnight as you can see so I'm gonna put this on the fire and let it cook until it is soft it probably takes up to 45 minutes to an hour to really start getting soft and the next important ingredient is my coconut and I am using natural coconut and tip for you when you're choosing your coconut ensure that you get a really nice dry coconut and not the one that are not dry the drier your coconut is the better your rice and peas will taste they always say the best coconut to use is the native coconut but if you don't have any natural coconut what you can use is the coconut milk powder in the coconut milk in a tin or you can use a milk, the milk powder one in the bag let me show you a substitute you can use this instead of a natural coconut but for me I love to cook my rice and peas using natural coconut this gives the rice and peas better taste more flavor yeah so I prefer to use natural coconut but whenever I can't get a natural coconut I'll use one of the tin milk one of the tin coconut milk or I'll, they also have to package the powder package which you can just add water to and the next thing you want to do is to ensure that when you're blending your coconut to not use too much water you don't want to get the juice water you want it to remain rich the richer the juice is the better the rice and peas will taste all right guys so I'm going to add add the piece to the pot and add a, add a little more water to it I'm going to, I'm going to add some water to it and add a little salt and let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour or just let it cook until it gets soft depends on how tough the pieces 
and we're going to be continuously checking on it to see if we need to add more water and to see how the progress is coming along and the reason why I soak the peas from overnight is to reduce our cooking time and we could have just put this in our pressure cooker and it will take about 15 minutes to get done but as I said today I'm not using the pressure cooker I'm just going to cook it on the stove using a regular pot um, adding add some more water and a little bit more water I'm going to add some salt to it Cover it up and just let it cook and uh, continue to check on it. So I'm checking on it, see what's going on. So it has been cooking now for 15 minutes. So remember, I say you have to continue to check on it to ensure that enough water is in the pot so when the water is going down you can just add some more to it so if this is okay you don't need to add any water at this point so I'm just gonna cover it back and then continue to check on it and checking on it At this point I'm going to add a little water Alright guys, so it's getting there, they're starting to get soft So I'm going to add a little bit more water and then let it stay for another 15 minutes then I'm going to add the coconut the coconut milk to it alright guys these are 90% cooked some of them are fully cooked and some are 90% cooked so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my coconut milk to it and then I'm going to season it up afterwards. So this is my coconut juice. You can see it is rich and nice. And here we have the season that I'm going to be used to season up the rice and peas. So I have a few slices of sweet pepper, a yellow and a green. I have two, two pieces of thyme, three pieces of scallion, I have some onion and some pimento berries as well as a scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk. I'm going to add the coconut milk to the peas. And then as soon as it starts to boil, I'm going to add the seasoning to it. Alright, now that it starts to boil, I'm going to be adding the seasoning to the pot. Adding the thyme, the pepper, I'm going to add the sweet pepper and the onion and the pimento. I'm gonna crush the skeleton before I add them to the pot. So I'm just going to lightly crush them. So 
then I'm going to add them to the pot so you just want to crush them a little bit just to get all that flavor out before you add them to the pot add them So what we're going to do next now, we're going to let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want to get that coconut juice boiled right out until you see like it is forming a little oil on the top. And that's when you're going to add the rice. That little moisture is going to let the rice on it stay so good. So you just need to get this boiling for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to cover it and check on it when it is time to add the rice to the pot. Over here, I have some turkey now cooking, and we're gonna have the rice and peas with this turkey neck and broad bean along with some French fried chicken. So, you guys, wanna just stay, stay tuned to see the finished product. I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar and this step is optional you don't have to add any sugar to your rice and peas this is optional I said you don't have to add any to yours but I like to add a little sugar to mine this step is optional Checking on it, guys, and you could have also added ginger to your rice and peas. I never had any ginger, so I did not add any to mine, but so that's okay, it won't affect the outcome. Alright guys, it's been for 15 20 minutes, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the rice ready and add it to the pot. So this is rice, this is about 2 pounds of rice, so I'm going to wash the rice and then add it to the pot. the rice to the pot Add in a little water. And guys, you don't need a lot of water. And the rice you just need a, it to be a little bit above the top because you don't want the rice to be too soft. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add a little salt to it and a piece of butter and then cover it up and let it cook. Add a little salt. Mm. 
little piece of butter. And guys, this butter that I'm using, it also contains salt, so you want to be careful when adding butter and salt to the pot. Don't add too much because it will end up being salty. Remember, I already add some salt to the peas when I was boiling it. So we don't need a lot of salt and then I'm going to cover it and as soon as the water starts to dry out I'm going to turn the stove down to low heat and I'm going to add a piece of foil paper to cover the pot so that the steam can be trapped and not escape through this little hole on the pot cover so it will be steamed much quicker Water is going down. So we're going to turn on the fire to low and add the fire paper over the pot and just let it steam. Alright, so the water is literally gone. So I'm going to cover it with the fire paper. Turn the stove down to a low heat and just let it steam for about 15 minutes. Make sure the fire paper is covering the pot and then you just seal it. So, this is to prevent the steam from, from escaping through this hole and to help the rice to steam better and quicker. So, I'm just going to bring the flame down, meat to low, okay you don't want the rice to burn, okay right down to low heat, and check, checking on it, alright guys we got it, In here. I'm gonna remove the time, we don't need it no more, so we can remove it. Be careful when you're turning it, so you don't want to burst the pepper. I'm gonna remove this little piece of time. Cover it back and stay in steel some more. So we are applying some chicken to go with the rice and peas. Alright guys, I think it is finished now. Just gonna check on it. Alright guys, this is it. thing about my rice and peas is that you can eat this without any gravy it is not dry it is just perfect yeah, you want to get it like this yes guys this is it so this was 
has been steaming for 15 minutes so now it, it, it is ready and I'm going to plate it and show you the finished product so this is authentic Jamaican rice and peas alright guys so this is the finished product here you have the rice and peas so this is the authentic Jamaican rice and peas guys and trust me this really tastes good you should try this recipe and let me know what you think and as I said before I was going to have this with some turkey neck and broad beans along with some fried chicken and I have some dry plantains on the side have some raw vegetable and this raw vegetable consists of carrot, cabbage, cucumber and some dry cranberry and also have some cucumber on the side here so guys tell me what you think about my rice and peas recipe and remember to try it out and if you were using the peas from the can it wouldn't take you so long to cook because it is actually 90% cooked already in, in the can so your time cooking will be much shorter than mine and if I was using my pressure cooker it would be much faster so tell me what you think tell me how you like this recipe remember to like share and comment 